This video is for the Newfoundland and Labrador Mosquito Project and it's to give more information about the project as well as show participants how to use the equipment properly that they'll get from us for mosquito collection. So um, first things first, if you're interested in being a participant, you can send us an email at the email address below or give us a call at the phone number below. And you can also check us out on Facebook and Twitter and um, we'll be putting out some more information about the general mosquito species that we find in the province as well as keeping people up to date with the project progress. So once you sign up uh, with us you'll be sending me an email and I will contact you and find out a little bit more information about uh, where you are and what kind of sampling is appropriate for you. And so I will then send you a package with all the equipment that you need to collect mosquitoes um, and that package is going to have a few different things in it. Uh, one of them is some information on the project as well as some contact information below and then the instructions on the other side of the page. Uh, the other sheet that's going to be in there is um, your data sheet. So you're going to have um, a place to put all the information of where you collected, uh, what was the habitat, that kind of stuff in your data sheet. And that's also going to correspond to what is the information you write on the um, collection tube right on the label here. So this label will correspond to one of these boxes here. Okay. And so you will have a couple of um, collection tubes depending on what type of sampling you're doing as well as your pooter. So this is the device that you use to actually uh, collect the mosquitoes. So I'll show you how this works. So what you'll do is you'll take the collection tube, unscrew the lid, and then we put the rubber stopper into the collection tube, just like that, just kind of sits on top. Um, and now you'll notice, I'll just explain a little bit about this before I'll show you how to use it. Um, there's two different lengths of the metal straws here. And so this one's the shorter one and it goes to your mouth. And this one's the longer one, and this is where the mosquito comes up into and gets caught in the tube here. Okay, so if you're ever unsure or whatnot, um, you can check on the bottom here, and the one that goes to your mouth has a screen over it so that you can't inhale the mosquito sample, which is important. Um, so that's another way of checking. So once you have it on, you're ready to go out and collect mosquitoes. Um, so for our project, we're just looking for mosquitoes, not for any other um, insects such as black flies. Um, so just female mosquitoes, and they're gonna be the ones that are buzzing around you trying to get a blood meal. Um, last year, we did get some people collect um, some things like winter cream flies, whatnot. If you collect something and you're unsure of if it's actually even a mosquito, or you maybe have sucked something up that you don't think is supposed to be in there, um, that's fine. We go through all the samples and we pull out what ever is not a mosquito sample, so don't worry about that. Um, but we're specifically looking at the mosquitoes that are buzzing around you. So the ones that are trying to get a blood meal from somewhere on your body. Um, and we're not necessarily interested in the ones that are just around your dog or a horse or an other animal. Um, so once you kind of have the device ready, you're ready to go out and collect mosquitoes. And so the way this works is you're going to put this end up to the mosquito and you're going to inhale with this end. So say if there's a mosquito on my arm, I put it up here, inhale, and the mosquito travels all the way up and then gets stuck in this collection tube. And that's where the mosquito samples are gonna be. So after you are out collecting mosquitoes and then you're done for the day, if you find that they're flying around here and you can't quite take this off and stick the lid on, um, one option is, is just putting the whole device, just even put this on here, stick this whole device in the fridge or the freezer and uh, once the mosquitoes calm down then you can just swap the lid. So you just take off the stopper and put the lid and then you keep your mosquito samples in the freezer. All right so then when you're done collecting um, and you're finished for the kind of the season um, what you can do is you can take your collection tubes and make sure that they're all labeled properly on the label and your data sheet, which again, make sure it's labeled with the corresponding tubes. Put that back into the package that it came into. So data sheet and mosquito samples, which have been frozen. And then once you do that, um, there should be a, or there will be a prepaid shipping label that just goes right on top of the existing ones. So you just put it right on top, seal this back up, go to your closest post office and put it in the mail. 
and that will get back to Memorial um, quite quickly and it will be prepaid so you don't have to worry about that. Um, and once I receive it, I'll let you know. I'll send you an email saying that I have received the sample. And after that, we will process it for identification. And then I'll let you know the results of the identification for each mosquito species that you collect. So it's a really fun way to get the results back um, the, of what you collected over the summer. So um, if you have any questions or comments or you just want to get a hold of us to ask anything, Again, send us an email or give us a phone call and uh, we'll be able to get you sorted. And again, this is a really fun project to be involved with. Uh, most ages are, are great to be involved with it. And it's also a really important project because we are trying to find out how many mosquito species we have within the province and also what viruses those mosquitoes carry. So it has a really, really important public health component to it. And it's a great project to uh, participate in. So again, any questions, let us know. If not, happy pootering.